guys, it's Laurel, and I'm in my bathroom. And that's because I have a bag full of stuff that I used to keep at the theater when I was doing Heather's that I need to clean out. And I figured this would be a great time to show you all the things that I take to the theater for performances to be prepared for a show. I'm gonna show you what's in this bag. This does not include my makeup caboodle, which has most of the face essentials, and it does not include my personal steamer, which I do bring to the theater every show. So first and foremost, my backup character heels. Usually I kind of just have these in my car, and I actually ended up needing them during Heather's because the shoes that I had to wear as Heather Duke started falling apart the last weekend of shows. I always bring a backup pair of heels which is important. I needed that in hairspray and I didn't have a pair when I needed them and had to wear somebody else's shoes that were way too big for a whole performance because my shoes broke on stage. Nevi Med. This is just like my personal steamer. I use it in the mornings and sometimes if my throat is sore, I use it at the theater. It is a sinus rinse. It is gross. It feels like when you jump into a pool and all the water goes up your nose that's what this feels like, but for like a long, slow period of time. This has kept me from losing my voice, and this has kept me from having a nasally voice when I've been sick. Very important, even if you're not a singer, you should have one of these. Bottle of big, sexy hair. This is the only hairspray that works on my hair. And this shit holds. I spray every single curl after I've curled it with this, and it holds. I have my wand for curling my hair. I have my hair straightener as well, just in case I need to curl my hair a different way or straighten it. Ronnie actually used this every show, the girl who played our Veronica, because her hair would not curl otherwise. I had an extra pair of tights, just in case the ones that I was wearing had rips in them. Learned that the hard way. I had a big hole in my butt for two performances of Heather's. And I got bent over backwards in front of the whole audience every show, so those two audience got a real lucky view of my behind. I have a brochure for another show that our choreographer is currently working on. And also, Matt Bailey, who you've seen in my vlogs as well, made the graphic for her show. So I was like, I want this. I'm gonna put it on my refrigerator. Lashes. Two different sizes. I have extreme and like perfect stage size. I got my Mic belt, usually theaters provide these for you, but I can't remember which show I was doing where they let me keep one. So this is my own personal mic belt. The mic pack goes in here and you can strap this wherever on your body, under your clothes. I'm sure you already knew what that was, but just in case you didn't know. I have my blush palette and my blush brush, which is angled, because my palette is too big to fit in my caboodle. I can't remember what these are called, but I have these for sectioning off my hair while I'm curling or straightening my hair. I have these everywhere in my house and apartment, just sprawled wherever, just like bobby pins. Deodorant, dry shampoo, eye drops, a travel toothbrush, Ricolas, a used Kleenex. Now, I don't ever use my expensive, nice, makeup palettes that I use every day for stage makeup, but I did for this show because I left my 88 color palette at in Austin because it was too big and just I think I just forgot to pack it. So I was like, this stuff works and I know it works so I used it. All my different brushes, one of these combs, I don't remember what they're called, but um, these are great for separating curls without brushing out the curls. I hate this comb because it doesn't feel good, but it works. And then I have my script, which I get to keep for the rest of my life and I'm so excited about it. I'm gonna look back through this later and be like, hmm, this whole run of the show, I was saying this line wrong probably. <laughs> Uneaten fruit snacks. There used to be like a whole box of fruit snacks in there, but I guess this one lonesome bag did not get eaten. So that is my snack in a few minutes. And then last, but absolutely not least, makeup remover. Hope you guys liked this video, I hope it was helpful. If not, it was, uh, you know, you got to see the mess that is my bag. And all that's left right now is just a crap ton of loose Ricolas. So I'm gonna clean up my bathroom and sign off. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you liked it, give it a like. 
And if you want to see more videos by me, you should subscribe because I post videos often and because I like people who subscribe. I will see you guys on the tube. Lay down, skin.